It's so bright in here. And where am I? And who the hell is that? Hello, sir. My name is Adam, your artificial designated assistant module. You have been awoken from your cryonic suspension state. Whoa, whoa, whoa what, what? You said cryonic suspension state? Yes, sir. Whoa, I'm feeling kind of dizzy. Not to worry, sir. Your reanimation side effects will only last for the next hour or so. Okay. What year is it? It is the year 2944, sir. 2944? Are you sure? What happened to the year 2014? That's like... 930 years ago. How can this even be possible? Well, sir... Your dossier records show that you sustained life-threatening injuries after losing control of your racing Grand Tourer in the year 2014. That's right. That's the last thing I remember. Without your knowledge, your father purchased a cryonic suspension package for you the day you were born. His intention of the package was to preserve your life and cater for a new life within a new realm. Further to your package, your father ensured that it included safe accommodation, a means of transport. He also chose a few other optional extras, one of them being me, your personal assistant. I remember my father telling me something about cryogenics, but I never believed him. All this time, he was actually right. Oh my word. It worked. Okay. So I guess this is it. My new reality. You said your name was Adam, right? That is correct, sir. So, Adam, what exactly am I standing in? This, sir, is called the Constellation Phoenix. This ship is manufactured by Robert Space Industries. So, is this ship my accommodation or transport? Sir. This ship can be used for transport as well as accommodation whilst out in space. But the ship is not your main accommodation. Okay, so then where is my main accommodation? Your hangar is currently your main accommodation. Your ship is currently docked inside your hangar, sir. Okay, noted. Adam, what are these used for? Sir, you are currently standing in the cockpit. The seat in the middle is better known as the captain's seat, with co-pilot seats on either side. Why don't you try out the captain's seat for the first time, see how it feels. Okay, it's like you read my mind. How do I climb into the captain's seat? Please wait, sir, whilst I activate your seat. Hey, wow, man. That's pretty awesome. So, sir, how does it feel sitting in your captain's seat? Feels pretty damn good. I think I can get used to this. So, Adam, where and how do I start the ship? Unfortunately, you are first required to undergo training before you can operate the ship, sir. Damn, that sucks. So how soon can I start my training? Sir, based on your body's physical condition, I would strongly recommend that you do not start your training as yet. I will reassess your health status tomorrow. If all is well, you will be able to start your training. Hmm. Okay. What a pity. So how do I get out of the seat? Let me help you with that, sir. So what is the seat over here for, Adam? This seat is connected to a lift system. Once the seat is in an operational position, the operator will then have control over your weapon turrets. Weapon turrets? What do I need weapons for? Sir, the universe is a dangerous place. I would advise that you do not leave your hangar without them. Well, that's comforting to know. I sense sarcasm in your response, sir. No shit, Sherlock. 
So, would you prefer that I respond to the name Sherlock in future? No, Adam. I think I just need some rest, as there's a lot going through my mind right now. Adam, wake me up in, say, an hour. Very well, sir. We shall continue then. <laughs>